A renegotiation of the South Korea-US free trade agreement could result in losses worth billions of dollars for South Korean companies, especially for those in the auto industry. However, experts say the reason American automakers struggle to sell many of their cars here in South Korea is not, not the FTA. Our Kim Jeon explains. Eyes are edging toward the future of the South Korea-U.S. bilateral free trade agreement and its effect on the local economy. U.S. President Donald Trump reiterated his plan to start withdrawing from the deal during his visit to the hurricane-stricken city of Houston, Texas last weekend. The Korea Economic Research Institute estimates Asia's fourth largest economy would suffer losses of up to 26.5 billion U.S. dollars over the next five years if tariff rates are adjusted upon a renegotiation of the free trade agreement. The automobile machinery and steel industries would face the biggest blows, with around 90,000 job losses expected in Korea's auto industry alone. Although it may not be by as much as expected, Korea's imports of U.S. brand cars have actually increased in recent years. The lack of appeal of U.S. cars among Korean consumers is mainly due to lack of U.S. cars models Korean consumers crave, rather than price competitiveness stemming from the South Korea-U.S. deal. Contrary to widely held beliefs, Korea's automobile exports to the U.S. fell sharply in 2016 from the previous year after the two countries slashed related tariffs. The Korean International Trade Association says the country's car exports to the U.S. tumbled by 9.5 percent last year to around 965,000 units. Under the terms of their free trade deal, Korea and the U.S. cut tariffs on automobiles from 2.5 percent to zero at the start of last year. Kim Jian, Arirang News.